Hi there, Alec Broyles, design engineer, Wayfair Vans, and I also live full time in my Wayfair van. And I'm Ian, chief van operator for Wayfair Vans, and today we're going to introduce our newest accessory, the uh, Propex Keter Wheel Well Box, aka the Hot Wheelie. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the Hot Wheel Well Box or, uh, is great for guys like Alec who live in their van full time, uh, making it more safe, reliable, comfortable heat year round or for individuals like me who uh, like ski touring uh, and making those sub-zero temperatures nights more tolerable, also safer. Yeah, Ian and I chose the Propex for three reasons. Um, it is reliable, the unit requires no maintenance, especially at altitude. It's effective for consistent heat and most importantly it's safe because we vent everything through the floor of the van. Yeah, so let's uh, go out around back and check it out. In the back of this standard wheel well box, we've included a propane locker to store your fuel safely. A couple of things to note about this locker is one that is airtight. So we've included a rubber seal around the top of the box, silicone sealant around the inside perimeter seams of the box, and we'll have a lid that straps on with a bungee keeping that lid compressed on there and nice and tight. Uh, you have the option of storing two five pound propane tanks in there or we'll include an 11 pound propane tank. All right, hold up, time out. We will provide two five pound tanks. Now, an 11 pound tank will fit in there but we'll provide you with two five pounds. So don't listen to him or me or whatever. Uh, we've also included a dual stage regulator, just like your propane grill at home. Uh, the regulator helps with consistent outflow of propane to the Propex heater. Um, it also helps uh, in high elevation events. Um, and uh, in the unlikely event of propane linking, we included a vent down at the bottom of the box and propane is heavier than air, so it will flow right out the bottom of the box. So speaking of vents, uh, Alec, you down there? Yeah, Ian, loud and clear. Oh, hey there. I was just checking out the three vents that we drill through the floor of the van. First one is behind the wheel well here, which is our propane vent, so that any leaks or fumes discharge outside of the vehicle. Flex hose here is our exhaust from the furnace itself. And we have another hose underneath facing the opposite direction for our air intake. Now these three vents make this a very safe to use unit. Doesn't impact the ground clearance of the vehicle at all and the flex hose with a 90 degree bend will deter any small critters from joining you inside the van for a quick cuddle sesh or a snack. Speaking of van dwelling critters, Ian, back to you. Now let's talk about the heart of this thing, the Propex furnace uh, installed in the front half of this standard wheel well box. Uh, now, underneath the false floor is the furnace, uh, but you can see above it, we've still given you plenty of storage space for all your camp goodies, camp chairs, marshmallow sticks, uh, firewood, water wings, I don't know. Uh, underneath the false floor is the furnace. Uh, now, the Propex runs off of propane um, and does not have the regular carbon buildup like uh, other gas or diesel furnaces do. Uh, so you don't have to maintain it as much. Um, but in the event that you may have to get to the furnace, you can just pop up the false floor and have access to it there. This vent pumps out the warm air. It's a dry heat, uh, so you don't have to worry about condensation. Um, also, since we vent out through the bottom of the van with the intake and exhaust, uh, you don't have to pop open a vent fan or window to operate it. Lastly, you can turn the vent in any direction towards the garage, up into the bed, into the living space. Uh, now it pumps out a warm heat, but it isn't hot to the touch, so it is safe for pets and uh, children. Um, so let's go to the brains of this operation and check out the thermostat with Alec. And this is the thermostat for our Propex unit. Uh, the button here with the flame is gonna turn our unit on and off. The button to the right of it is our delayed start function where we can set the unit to turn on anywhere from one to 16 hours from now. And the arrows on the left here allow you to set a temperature similar to a standard thermostat or the desired amount of time before you want the unit to kick on. Now, I'd recommend using one of these two options for maximum comfort and efficiency. Personally, I like to run the heater for about two hours, two, three hours before I go to bed. 
warm up the van and then I have a nice, comfortable, cold weather sleep system that keeps me warm throughout the night. And then I use the delayed start function to set the heater to kick on about an hour before I wake up to make sure I have a nice cozy environment to start my day. Um, the other option is to use it similar to a standard thermostat where you set a temperature and the unit will kick on periodically throughout the night to keep that van uh, at the desired temp. Um, depending on a variety of environmental factors, I've found that keep the van about 40 to 50 degrees above the outside temp. Now if the unit were to error or fault because we uh, run out of propane or either of the exhaust or intake become blocked, then the unit uh, itself will need to be reset before it can be used again. To do so, there's a very small hole above the delayed start button here. Um, use a safety pin or an, a pin from a sewing kit works well too. Um, but you press it twice in succession and then the unit will be ready uh, to be used again. Uh, I like to put a pin right here in the cushion really close to uh, the thermostat itself so that it's easy access whenever I need to reset. But anyway, let's go find uh, Ian and wrap things up. Now that we've gone over the uh, Propex furnace, the uh, propane locker, the vent, and the thermostat, a few things before we go. Uh, always follow manufacturer recommendations and DOT regulations, or don't, live on the edge. But since we have to say this, please do. I mean, yes, please do. Um, also, disconnect the propane regulators from the propane tank while you travel. We include a CO2 and propane detector uh, with this unit, uh, so make sure those batteries are fresh. And lastly, uh, propane refill is easier than you think. You can uh, get your propane refilled either at Ace Hardware, Tractor Supply, U-Haul, RV parks, even some gas stations uh, for a quick refill. Yeah, this has been a really fun project to work on, um, and we can easily include it in your van. You can order the Hot Wheelie with your conversion through our website, and we'll include it on your install day, or we can retrofit your previously converted Wayfair van. So come in and see us for that hot, hot heat. <laughs> With a 90 degree bend, deters any small critters from revving their motorcycles inside your van. <laughs> Speaking of motorcycle riding critters. <laughs>